I don't want to sneeze. Huh. <sighs>right so here we go here's the bonnet if i call it bonnet one more time i'm actually gonna break something but yeah here we go um we've got a ton of stuff in here i don't know what how we're gonna do to go about this um first let's make a start with getting rid of this what's this oh this is um this is gonna be the original what's what's it called again the air intake the engine where air comes in it's obviously it's been replaced with an actual intake now but yeah, again, this is pretty cool. Could make some money off this, sell it. So yeah, put this aside and continue. We've also got this. Um, we've got the car came with a one use the FE engine. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We could do an engine swap for this. Get like, what, how much, like 250 brake. Right, so as you can tell, the previous owner has kindly, kindly given us a one use the FE engine, complete block. Honestly, I don't know why he would do that. He could sell this, make good money off this, but yeah man thank you so much this is really cool actually i'm gonna make a new video on this on how to do one easy fe swap seems pretty simple this engine seems pretty right so right ah. so right off the bat we've got two tires well that's one tire oh we've got a nice air compressor to fill the tires in that's definitely helpful we'll be keeping that now let's take, let's take these out some nice tires Stuff. These wheels break my back. That's how heavy they are. Like, jeez. All right. We got this. Ooh, heavy stuff, man. Hmm. There's a little box here. Oh crap! What on earth is that? Oh, whatever. So, got this mysterious box here. What on earth is that? Um. Yeah, I have no clue what that is. It's got a little remote in there as well. Damn. We put this aside and continue. Jeez. Alright, so this is the jackpot right here, guys. We've got a box full of trim, which is sick because as, as you can probably tell, we, we're missing up we're missing a lot of trim in the car. So yeah, this is sick. This is sick. We've got a lot of trim in here. Well I don't know if it's a lot, but we've definitely got some few bits and bobs in here, which will definitely be helpful. Hmm, we've got some more stuff in there which I'll show you guys in the garden. Put that aside. And right at the back seem to be that is mad. Right at the back seems to be one of these things. Um I have no clue what this is. Is it a drive shaft? Um I think it's a drive shaft. It's bloody heavy though. Jeez, there's two of them, there's another one in the back. Bloody hell, this is heavy. You know what? Let me put this down. Let me put this down. My god, that's mad. Oh, that's mad. That's mad. <laughs> We've got another one on the back. Can you take that one out? So this one's got a plastic bag over it, which is kind of worrying. Oh god, this is so heavy. As well. for anything else. Oh, one more thing. We've got a spare tire on the back. Let's get that out. Oh. Right, so as you guys can see, the trunk is now completely empty and what's also empty the rest seats are pretty much empty as well and behind me yeah yeah the car came with a hell of a lot of parts jeez where do I even start tires drive shafts I think engine block I'm joking by the way don't hate me um, another one Tires, there's tires everywhere, tires, wheels everywhere, jeez. Trim, lights. You know what? I want to get all of, all of this in the garden so we can get a better look at this because at the moment it's a mess. So, three, two, one, and there you go. Everything's now gone. And as you can totally tell, my arms, my hands, my back's not aching from taking all that stuff in the garden, but it's okay. I'll survive. I'm not emotionally hurt. <laughs> But yeah, let's get to the garden and I'll show you guys exactly what we got from this car. 
Right, so here we are, we're in the garden and now you can probably see everything laid out nice and clear and first of all, like, can I just see like, Jesus, so much stuff like, where am I meant to put all of this? I have no clue Anyways, um, yeah, let's make a start, I'm gonna walk through what came with the car and yeah, that's pretty much it, so let's get down and let's start off with the, the main thing, like, as you can see, we've got three wheels here one of them I've got some air, the tyre seems pretty good, I don't know about the other two But yeah, we've got three wheels which are in decent condition, I mean They're okay considering they came like with the car They're a bit scuffed up These ones though, they're dirty but they're, they're pretty clean actually So yeah, three wheels, that's, that's really cool actually Ideal for drifting, whatever, track use And we've got two tyres as well, which is sick Two tyres And I think these are drift tyres, I don't know Yeah, look at that, look at that this one's literally got nothing left. Definitely be definitely be used for sketchy stuff. Yeah, moving on. We got a pair of front lights and three driver side fog lights for some reason. Don't know why, but I could probably sell it and make a nice profit. These two, nice working. They could do with a little bit of a gloss, I mean polish, but eh, I'm not complaining. Again, we've got a one easy engine block right here. Totally. Gonna do a one easy swap in the next video. And what else? Oh, can you guys let me know in the comments what this is called? I completely forgot. It's like the air intake, whatever. I don't know, it's the original, the stock one. Obviously the car's got um, a different one. Orange intake, whatever, I don't know what it's called. A cone intake. Oh, is it called intake or a filter? Why am I calling it? Oh my God, I've been calling it intake this whole time. I meant filter. I swear that's what it's called. You know what, just, I wanna edit, I wanna edit this out. So we've got that, we've got a nice pair of spacers, these are really cool, definitely going to be making a video on these and how to install them, and uh, air compressor, you know, to, to fill these up with air, and a bunch of seat belts, um, I think these are racing harnesses, yeah I think this is a ra the racing harness for the passenger seat, I think, I think, it's already got the driver's side one on so I might get this one actually for another video, so that'll be kind of cool actually, we've got two Again, let me know in the comments what these are called, I have no clue. I think they're called um, drive shafts, I don't know, I think. One of them got a bag over it, so I'm guessing that's leaking. There's like, there's a lot of gross stuff in there, but I don't know, do these even leak? I have no idea, let me know in the comments. We've also got a pretty cool brace here. According to my research, I think this goes underneath the engine. I mean, look at the colour, it's my purple, my, like, purple is my favourite colour. So that's pretty cool. Again, don't know if I want to use that, probably will actually. Could make a video on it. And now here is where it gets kind of interesting. We've got a lot of bits and bobs in here. And um, what I might do actually is just take it out one by one and see what we got. So we first got this box here. Let's have a look. Oh geez. Um, so we've got this. I have no clue what that is. Um, Sub-Zero Ice. I'm guessing it's part of a speaker system. Like, oh, he could have given the full thing, man. <laughs> that would have been cool, but yeah, it's got the remote. I'm guessing there's more to it, but it just came with this. Not really useful. Probably will go in the bin. Got some cables here, cabling wires, it's in instructions. Don't know if that's going to be of any use, but it probably won't be, I can't lie. So, yeah, let's put that back in the box and actually have a look what came in the big box over there. So, first of all, we've got this. I don't, I don't even think this is for the Lexus. Like, I looked around on the Lexus and I could not find any pieces that look like this, so. I'm guessing that's for another car, so we we'll leave that over there. Actually, we leave it over there because it's less messy. And if you've got this piece, um, I have no idea what this is, but hey, it's a piece for the Lexus, so that's pretty cool. So, piece for the Lexus. Definitely needed. The car is literally stripped out as well. This, I'm guessing, this is for the fuse to cover the fuse. That's really cool because I don't like exposed. Um, I don't like exposed wires. So, yeah, I'm guessing this is for the fuse. That's that's pretty cool. Moving on, and what else do we have? Ooh. Yeah, I'm guessing this is for the other side, the driver side or passenger side. Again, for the fuse box, yeah, there you go. I'm pretty sure, anyways. So yeah, another one. Bit dirty, could definitely do with a clean. Ooh. So we've got this um, part of the steering wheel, the inside, the airbag part. That's kind of cool, actually, because this week's video, when I assess the damage on the car, um, I'll explain why this might be really useful actually. So yeah, I'm really glad this came with the car actually. Saving quite a lot of money, if it works. 
So moving on. So we've got a quite a lot of these actually. One, two, three. Ooh. Damn. So we've got a sport one as well. Please tell me there's another one in here. Oh come on, don't do that. <laughs> oh man. So it only came with one of these. If it came with two of these, oh my god, that would have been beautiful. I would have put it on the car. Like these just look so beautiful, man. But it only came with one, so what's the point of me putting it on? There's no point in me putting it on. Oh, that's a massive shame. It's absolutely gorgeous as well. Could, could sell this, make some money back. But yeah, it came with the rest of the black trim. Cheap plastic. If it came with this here, oh my god, I would have been gassed. I would have been gassed. So what's this? Um, I don't think this is for the Lexus as well. Yeah, it's probably for another car. This definitely is not for the Lexus. And last but not least, we've got this, which I have no clue what it is. Um, no clue. But yeah, um, that is pretty much it, guys. That's what came in this box. Some a lot of trim, basically trim pieces, as you can tell, which is really cool. Actually, it's saving quite a lot of money, and we can put at least a tiny bit of the interior back together. But yeah, this is it, guys. Um, this is all the parts that the car came with, and damn, it's a lot, isn't it? It's a freaking lot. <laughs> But yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. And I got a question for you lot. How much do you reckon all of all of these parts cost altogether? Like everything, all of this, all of this, trim, and all that stuff as well. Because I'm I'm kind of curious, like how much I could get back or save from buying a car if I was to sell everything. Even though I might keep two tires for interesting times. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky